What if the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe roster was doubled? Well, first I would add Cappy as a playable character. You see, I know Pauline's been getting a lot of the Odyssey representation recently, but I do think it's Cappy's time to shine for one of these games, and I think Mario Kart 10 is the best game to do it. However, I don't think he has a very strong chance of making it into the next game, so let's give him a 4 out of 10. Next up is Prince Florian. Yes, I do think we will get some Super Mario Bros. Wonder representation in the next Mario Kart game in some way, shape, or form. He was a very staple character. He was the main leader, the prince of the new kingdom the flower kingdom in mario wonder so it only makes sense that he would get the next representation in mario kart 10 and therefore i'm gonna give him a six out of ten chance i think he's got a pretty good shot actually next up is the sprixy princess now these characters have actually only been around in super mario 3d world but the reason i added them is because they were available on the switch in mario 3d world plus bowser's fury when that game got remade on the switch also the sprixy princess was a playable character in mario dennis ultra smash remember that game <laughs> i don't but this character will only get a 3 out of 10 chance. Next up is Luma. Now, Luma actually has had prior Mario Kart experience with being Rosalina's side character on Mario Kart Wii that would just float around Rosalina when you would race as her on a cart or a bike. But now I'm thinking Luma can actually get to her time in the spotlight and be their own character. I'm giving Luma a 5 out of 10 chance. Next up is the Nokis. These characters debuted in Super Mario Sunshine and then also made their appearance as playable characters in the Mario Baseball series. However, this would be their Mario Kart debut if they were to make it in this game, but I don't foresee that happening as much. I do think they would be cool characters to play as, but I don't think they would realistically make it into the next game. I'm giving them a 2 out of 10 chance. Same goes for the Piantas. They also debuted in Super Mario Sunshine and became playable in the Mario Baseball series. Again, they have not been playable in any Mario Kart game whatsoever, but they have had NPC appearances in Mario Kart games but this would be their debut if this doubled roster was a reality. However, I am still also giving them just a 2 out of 10 chance. Next up is Professor Egad. Now, Egad has actually had a couple of appearances in the Luigi's Mansion series. That's where he is most popular from. But Egad has also been rumored to be playable in Mario Kart DS. Apparently, he was supposed to be in that game, but got cut due to time restraints. So now this would be his grand comeback in Mario Kart X if he becomes a playable character here. I don't see that happening too much just because he's kind of been fading away in the sunlight. Like, they have not had Egad in any other games outside of the Luigi's Mansion series, so it'd be a little bit tough to convert him over to Mario Kart, but I'm still going to give him a 4 to 10 chance because he was once previously planned to be in a Mario Kart game before. Next up is Dr. Mario. Now, of course, Dr. Mario has his own series in the Dr. Mario games that almost feel like Tetris, and Dr. Mario is also playable in Super Smash Brothers, which is really awesome. I like playing as Dr. Mario in that game, but he made his Mario Kart debut in Mario Kart Tour just a couple of years ago, and I feel like that is his entryway into the Mario Kart series. I still don't think he's going to have that fantastic of a chance for making it into the Mario Kart 10 roster. So because of that, I'm only giving him a 2 out of 10 chance. Next up is Poochie. Same with Poochie. Poochie's an adorable character from the Yoshi's Island series. You gotta love him. But he also made his debut in Mario Kart Tour as a playable character. And boy, I love racing as this character. He's so adorable. It would make weird sense for him to ride on a cart or a bike. It wouldn't be very ideal. But he's so cute that you can't just leave him out of a Mario Kart game. So I'm also going to give him a 2 out of 10 chance for this appearance. Next up is Captain Toad. Now, Captain Toad debuted in Super Mario Galaxy, but kind of exploded in popularity with Super Mario 3D World and eventually ended up getting his own game. So you got to love Captain Toad for that. Captain Toad is doing pretty well for himself right now. He made his Mario Kart debut in Mario Kart Tour, just like a lot of these characters have. And I think he has a 7 out of 10 chance to make it to the next Mario Kart game. I don't think we're going to see the end of Captain Toad anytime soon. A character that I don't really see coming back, though, is Paratroopa. Paratroopa has a 2 out of 10 chance to make it into the next Mario Kart game. In my personal opinion, I would love to see Paratroopa back. Paratroopa made their Mario Kart debut in Double Dash and has been a mainstay in the Mario enemies for a long time, just as long alongside the Koopas. But when it comes to Mario Kart games, Koopa Troopa is really the one that takes the crown over Paratroopa. We only had one Paratroopa appearance, and I just don't see Paratroopa coming back as much as I would love to see it personally. So, 2 out of 10. Now, a character I would love to play as in a Mario Kart game is Fly Guy. Now, Fly Guy made his playable debut in Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube, and that's really where I instantly fell in love with the characters, and that game proved that you can have Shy Guy and Fly Guy coexist as playable characters in the game, and I think that is still possible, especially in a game with as many as 96 characters. There's room for Fly Guy. Don't you dare tell me that there's not room for Fly Guy. I'm adding him in, even though I'm only going to give him a 1 out of 10 chance to make it into this game, because let's be real, I don't think Fly Guy has a good shot, but man, I would go crazy if he was revealed. Next up is Ninji. I never really knew who Ninji was until the Super Mario Maker series, specifically Mario Maker 2, when they had those Ninji speed runs. And then Ninji became a playable character in Mario Golf Super Rush on the Nintendo Switch. So he's getting a little bit more popular during the Switch era. So I can kind of see a possibility 
where Ninji ends up making it into a future Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 10 is at the one I'm not too sure. I'm going to give him a 2 out of 10 though because of his recent playable appearances. Next is Toadsworth. Toadsworth was a classic during the GameCube in the Wii days as a playable character, especially during the Mario Baseball days, but he was also the main guy in Mario Kart Double Dash that was sort of refereeing the whole situation. So he's got a little bit of experience in the Mario Kart universe, so I could potentially see him in Mario Kart 10 but he hasn't been in games for at least a decade if you don't count reboots and remakes. So again, because of that, I don't think Toadsworth's got a strong chance to make it back as a playable character. Give me a one out of 10 chance. Next up is Boo. Pretty simple. He's an item. We got King Boo in there already. I don't see Boo making it into a marker game anytime soon. As much as I would like it, it makes weird sense that Boo is in a Mario Party game and he's in all the other Mario sports games. But for some reason, he just can't find his way into Mario Kart. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. I don't think he's going to make it anytime soon, though, because of what I said before. One out of 10 for Boo. Next up, speaking of a character who has exploded in popularity, we got king of the bomb he's been playable in Mario Kart tour and in mario golf super rush so he's doing pretty darn well for himself and i think he's got an eight out of ten chance to appear in the next marketing game just because a lot of people really love king of the bomb they really like him from super mario 64 when he made his debut and he's really been a mainstay in the last couple of years on the nintendo switch so i could see this continuing for king of the bomb get him to continue this streak this role that he is on for playable appearances. Let's get him into Mario Kart 10. Now, a character that many people wanted to see back, whether it was in Mario Kart Tour or as DLC in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, is Honey Queen. Honey Queen made their playable debut in Mario Kart 7 after being an NPC in Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2. I don't know why people like Honey Queen so much. I was not the biggest fan of this character, but I'm still going to give the character their flowers as they deserve. They were a playable character in Mario Kart 7, so I figured why not include them here. And I'm honestly just going to give them 5 out of 10 chance to appear in the next marker game. It's really a coin flip in my opinion. I have absolutely no idea. They could do it. They could not do it. It really depends. And I don't know what Nintendo would do with Honey Queen. Next up, Baby Wario. We could use some more babies in the Mario Kart series, or at least some new babies. We've seen the same ones over and over again. Let's get some new babies into the Mario Kart games. And Baby Wario, I think, would be an incredible choice. He got a 3D model in the Dr. Mario World game on iOS and Android that is unfortunately shut down at this point. But people still know and love Baby Wario, especially from Yoshi's Island DS. That's where he made his debut. So Baby Wario, I'm going to give him a 2 out of 10 chance to appear in Mario Kart 10. Another character that debuted in Odyssey, I would love to see is glide on now if you guys have been watching my channel for a couple of years anytime i do these character prediction style videos i always kind of throw this guy in there just because i feel like he has such a cool character model and i think it would be really awesome to see this character show up in a game has not worked for me yet but i'm still gonna keep trying keep throwing it out there maybe manifesting it to happen glide on is such a chill dude so i would love to see him in a future game whatever it is but when it comes to this marker game i just don't see it happening as much as i would love to see him in there that's why i threw him in here I'm only going to give him a 1 out of 10 chance. Next up is Chain Chomp. Well, if this was like 5 or 6 years ago, I honestly would not put Chain Chomp anywhere near these character select screens, but he made his playable debut in Mario Tennis Aces. Granted, he has not been playable ever since, but because of that one sole playable appearance, anything is possible for Chain Chomp. He can make a playable appearance in anything. I don't necessarily see how he is going to be able to drive a cart. He just doesn't have the body form to be able to make it work. So I'm only going to give him a 1 out of 10 chance to appear in the next marker game. Next up is Plessy. This character is massive. Like this is a huge character that they would have to scale down incredibly. But hey, if they were able to do it for Honey Queen, they could easily do it for Plessy. This character appeared in Super Mario 3D World in a couple of levels. They get to ride on their back for the water glide levels. Those are pretty fun. But Plessy would be an interesting character to throw into a vehicle or a bike in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm still going to give him a 1 out of 10 chance. I honestly do not think it is possible. But just to fill out this character roster, I figured I'd throw them in here. Next up, we got another very interesting character to talk about. This is the Bully. You guys remember from Super Mario 64. And this character came back in Super Mario 64 DS. And even in Super Mario 3D World, the character that you'd have to ground pound to push into the lava. The Bully has actually made an appearance in Mario Kart DS as a mission mode boss. So remember that you can actually play a against the bully and an ice bully in mission mode games so the bully is not foreign completely to the marker series however i just don't see a single chance that the bully will appear as a playable character in a future marker game because he's not hasn't been relevant at all so in fact i'm gonna give him the first zero out of ten for possibility to be playable in a future Mario Kart game. Next up, King Wop, a very interesting character, one that we haven't seen since Super Mario 64, but I think this character has a very slight chance. If we could get King Bob Bomb to make a grand comeback and be a fan favorite, I think King Wop 
also has a possibility to do the same i'm honestly going to give him a one out of ten chance because you really never know i'll just throw it out there but it's also just cool to get another like bad villain into the roster speaking of kings that we haven't seen in a while let's take it all the way back to super mario brothers 2 the usa version and let's bring in wart if i'm doubling the roster for mario kart 8 deluxe to 96 characters there's only so many characters i can choose from so eventually as i got down towards the nitty gritty i needed to pick some characters from areas of the series that i have not been seeing the wart had to be one of those characters that has just not been seen in a mario game in a very very long time but i needed to fill out the roster gave it to wart but i'm still gonna give him a zero percent chance a zero out of ten to make the next marker game next up we got a pair of characters that made a beloved return in a beloved rpg super mario rpg in fact their first off is gino i'm giving him a zero out of ten chance unfortunately but we also got mallow of course you got gino you got mallow both of them are getting zero out of ten chances it is what it is it would be really cool to see these characters in a marker game i know they're square enix owned so they're not even technically mario characters i don't think it's going to happen but they are here in my doubled market deluxe roster next up a character that got more playable appearances than i honestly think they deserve is the piranha plant they became playable in super smash bros ultimate and they were playable in mario tennis aces as a fire piranha plant so because of that honestly anything can happen i don't know why nintendo really loves the piranha plant so i'm gonna throw them in here as a possibility to be a playable character in mario kart 8 deluxe when you double the roster in my opinion i don't think it's gonna happen especially for a future mario kart game so I'm only going to give the Prana Play a 1 out of 10, but you never, never know. Next up is Monty Mole. Monty Mole has had quite a few playable appearances. If you can believe it, he's been playable in the Mario Baseball series. He had a playable appearance in Super Mario Party and even was playable in Mario Kart Tour as a normal driver. So that is a character that has had a couple of playable appearances here and there. So because I think Monty Mole actually has the build quality set to be a good racer in mario kart 8 deluxe in terms of his likelihood to make the next market game mario kart 10 i think he has a 6 out of 10 chance and likelihood higher than most characters in my personal opinion next up is the classic penguin anytime i even look at this character the penguin i only think of that one mini game from mario party 5 pushy penguins that one is one of my favorites to this day but the penguin is absolutely adorable we got to get the penguin back into more mario games and this would be an incredible playable debut if we got the penguin in here in a mario kart game we doubled the roster to 96 characters characters in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In terms of his chances to appear in a future Mario Kart game, Mario Kart 10, I'm only going to give him a 2 out of 10 chance because honestly, you never know. Next up is Blooper. Blooper has had a couple of playable appearances before. Blooper has been playable in Mario Super Sluggers and he has also been playable in Mario Party 8. So those were the Wii days where his playable appearances were nice and huge. But now he's been sort of relegated to an item. He's only been an item in the Mario Kart series starting in Mario Kart DS. So because of that, I really don't think he has a chance to appear in a Mario Kart game in the future for a while because he's going to stick around as an item. So I'm only going to give him a 1 out of 10 chance. Next up is Nabbit. Nabbit is a very mysterious character. First appearing in New Super Mario Bros. U and then making playable appearances in Mario Golf World Tour and then eventually Mario Kart Tour. So Nabbit has made a little bit of a name for himself. He's got quite a bit popular. He was also playable in New Super Luigi U as a playable character. That was his first playable appearance. I think he becomes more and more popular over time. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 chance for this next appearance. Next up, a character that I wouldn't have even considered if it wasn't for the Mario movie, but I'm going to throw in Foreman Spike into this roster. That's right. This character has been irrelevant since wrecking crew but has somehow been revived because of the mario movies so because of that i'm throwing form and spike into this roster you really don't know what nintendo could do with this character if they could think of this character for one of their first four rays into the big screen it's a possibility that they could think of this character when expanding a market deluxe roster to 96 so in terms of his possibilities to appear into a future marker game, I'm giving him a 3 out of 10 chance. Next up is Boom Boom. I think Boom Boom has a 5 out of 10 chance to appear in the next marker game. He's been around since Super Mario Bros. 3, so he's actually been a Mario staple for a long, long time, and that's why I think he has a really solid chance to make it to another marker game. He hasn't been playable in any marker games yet, but he has been playable in Mario Tennis Aces, so there is a little bit of history of being a playable character in here. Give him a 5 out of 10 chance. We also got Pom Pom. I'm also giving her a 5 out of 10 chance as well. Anytime now we see Boom Boom in in a mario game you'll likely see pom pom as another mini boss as well and pom pom has also been playable in super mario party so there's also a little bit of playable experience there give pom pom 5 out of 10 chance next up the koopa free runner i initially wasn't going to include this character even though they are playable in mario kart tour but i needed to pad out the roster just a little bit more 48 characters is a lot so i decided to throw in the koopa free running character but i'm only going to give him a 2 out of 10 chance because we already got koopa we might even get paratroopa so it wouldn't necessarily make sense to add in another koopa clone in a way just a koopa with a backwards hat it's not too much from koopa maybe there'll be a drop down menu but in terms of as a separate character 
Not a good chance in my opinion. Next up is Hammer Bro, and I'm honestly shocked that we have not seen Hammer Bro in a console marker game yet. They made their Mario Kart debut in 2020 in Mario Kart Tour, but before that they have not been playable in a single Mario Kart game. They've been playable in Mario Baseball, Mario Strikers, even Mario Party before, but not in a Mario Kart game, and I think this time is where it changes. I'm throwing Hammer Bro in my doubled Mario Kart 8 Deluxe roster, but in terms of making it into Mario Kart 10, I say they got an 8 out of 10 chance. They're like the perfect character to play as in Mario Kart. Next up, I got a very unique character. This is Parabones. Again, I have used this character in a couple of my character predictions videos in the past just because I think he's kind of cool. I mean, it's a Dry Bones with wings. It's basically the paratroopa version of Dry Bones. How cool is that? So I wanted to throw him in there. He's just a fun, unique character in my personal opinion. So I don't think he's got a fantastic chance to appear into a future Mario Kart game. I'm giving him a one out of 10 chance. Not many people know who Parabones is. Probably one of the lesser important enemies in the Mario series, but he's still just a fun character to look at. Next up is Spike. Now don't get that confused with Foreman Spike that I just talked about or earlier. This is Spike the enemy, this green blob of a figure with some slick back gray hair. And that actually throws Spike balls down at you. He's only had two playable appearances. He was playable in Mario Party 10 on the Wii U and then also in Mario Tennis Aces. So he's got a little bit of playable history has not been playable in a mario kart game yet not even in tour so i think that's going to make his chances a little bit lower to appearing in a future mario kart game i'm giving him a four out of ten chance a character i think that has a high chance of making it into the next marker game is charge and chuck again like this character has for some reason has been coming out of the blue after being debuted in super mario world as a common enemy but then has been on a huge hiatus until recently has been playable in mario kart tour in mario golf super rush so he's really got the same sort of treatment as King bob -Bomb, and I think because of that, he's got a little bit more popular over the years, and I think he's got a pretty strong chance to make it into the next marker game. Give me a 7 out of 10 for Charge and Chuck. Now, characters that got no chance, but I wanted to throw in there anyway, is Koopa Kid, my absolute beloved. I love this character from the Mario Party series. I always play as this character in Mario Party 5 and 6, and those are the only games he has been playable in, and has not been available or seen at all since Mario Party 7 because he eventually got replaced by Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings, but we needed so many characters to fill out this extra 48, so I decided to bring him back to fill out this slot. He's got a 0 out of 10 chance. There's no way he's making it to the next marketing game, but I just want to throw him in there because it is my literal dream to play as Koopa Kid again in the future as opposed to just in Mario Party 5 and 6. So please, Nintendo, bring back Koopa Kid. I'm begging you. Another character I am begging that they bring back is Donkey Kong Jr. Yes, he was playable in Mario Kart Tour, but only in this 8-bit, 6 16-bit Super Nintendo variant, which is still very cool. I really appreciate that they did that, and it was so incredibly generous of them to do that, but man, I need to see this character back in a console of Mario Kart game, or just a console game in general. It would be incredible to play as this character once again, maybe in a 3D model potentially. I might be asking way too much there, but I decided to throw his Super Nintendo spray in honor of his tour appearance in there. So I'm honestly going to give DK Jr. a 1 out of 10 chance. I think there is a slight possibility, like the door is open a little bit because of this entry in Mario Kart Tour. The possibility is very, very slim. Another character they should include is Dixie Kong. Yes, we're getting through all the Kong characters now. Dixie Kong was playable in Mario Kart Tour, made her debut in 2020 but before that has really only been playable in like the mario baseball games for the mario series and of course was playable in donkey kong country tropical freeze in her own game but besides that not too much of a playable history for dixie kong i do think dixie can make it into a future marker game eventually but the next one might not be her time give her a two out of ten chance next up is cranky kong cranky kong doesn't have as nearly as deep a playable history as some of the other kongs but he was playable in donkey kong country tropical freeze has not really been playable in many mario games before not even in mario kart tour so cranky Donkey Kong doesn't have too much of a high chance to make it into a future marketing game. I'm giving a 1 out of 10 chance. Sticking with the Kongs, we got Tiny Kong, a character that actually was playable in Mario Super Sluggers, but after that, we have not seen Tiny Kong in a while. So I'm only going to give Tiny Kong a 0 out of 10 chance. I think of all the Kong characters, this one has the least likelihood of making it back, especially for a Mario Kart game where Kong characters are notoriously excluded for the most part now again speaking about more baby characters we got to get baby dk back into the playable status he was playable in mario super sluggers and i think baby dk needs to come back as a character in Mario Kart 10. Baby DK is just a fun, unique character. I like playing him in Yoshi's Island DS and in Mario Super Sluggers, and we could have some new babies. Like I was talking about with Baby Mario, let's get some new babies in there. Throw Baby DK into the mix. I say he's got a two out of 10 chance to make it into the next Mario Kart game. Next up is Critter. Critter has had his interesting playable history. He was also playable as a goalkeeper in Super Mario Strikers and Mario Strikers Charge, and eventually became a fully playable character in Mario Super Sluggers as well. So he's very well known to the sports world. And of course, he's in the Donkey Kong 
Country games as well. So Critter's been around the Mario and Donkey Kong universe. I think he's got a possibility of being playable, but he's not been anywhere near the Mario Kart series in a while. So I don't think he's got that stronger chance to make it into the next market. Give me a one out of 10 chance for Critter. Next up, of course, we got King K. Rool. I can't talk about Critter and not talk about King K. Rool, a character that has not been playable in a Mario game besides Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in 2018. But before that, he has been playable since Mario Super Sluggers. But I do think King K. Rool has still a lot of popularity. People loved seeing him in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and he's still play to this day if any kong character any character from rare in the donkey kong country games could appear in a future mario kart game i think king k rule is the one especially because of how unique he looks and he is a villain after all give me a two out of ten chance for king k rule and finally the last character that i will throw into this ultimate doubled marketing deluxe roster to fill out 96 characters is rob rob was playable in mario kart ds and he is playable in super smash brothers ultimate you know you gotta love the robotic operating buddy he's such a chill character i love the man so much you have every pretty much every other playable mario Mario Kart character that has been playable in a Mario Kart game before, you gotta throw Rob in this point just by default. So I do think that Rob should appear in the next Mario Kart game. I don't think he will. I'm giving him a 1 out of 10 chance, but I do think it would be incredible to see Rob in a future Mario Kart game. Let's make it happen. Let me know what you guys think of the character list. I have a Google form in the first link of the description where if you guys click on it, you can list your top five most wanted Mario Kart characters that are not playable in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then I will make my own doubled version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's roster where the top 48 characters with the most votes will be included. And that will be your guys' list as to who you want to see in a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe roster if it was doubled. So please go ahead and fill out that form if you want your voice to be heard. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my members. There are so many of you, you guys. It is almost overwhelming. Thank you guys so much for your support. It is actually incredible. And it warms my heart to see this amount of generosity from you guys. It is incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Subscribe to the channel too. Please do that if you are new. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. And with that being said, stay all pro. And I'm out of here.